I'm here doing some work at a storage unit and I'm gonna go around and see what kind of cool items I can find that people will just drop small stuff mostly see what uh, kind of stuff there is laying around at this place while I'm here working first find some money can't complain about that a penny the cigarette butt caught my eye but then I saw the penny sitting right next to it nice here's another penny a lot of pennies but I'll find some real silver an unusual rock really flat I just noting it because you know it's the only one like this here actually that's perfectly flat on the back I don't understand something about this rock this rock was used for something I'll hold on to it there toenail cutters or something they had by lumber little tiny piece of metal What the hell is this? That's pretty damn cool looking. It's a butterfly. Oh shit. <laughs> I'll take it. Thin piece of pipe. Penny, what? Abraham Lincoln. What year? Oh, dude, this one is. I can't read it. 1973. Ooh, that's real copper. What? Okay, fine. Oh, shizzle. A tab. Whoa, oh, shizzle. A nut. What? It started raining, really kind of cut everything short. Um, just want to bring up a point as to why I'm doing what I'm doing while I'm on my lunch break here. We got some of that delicious KFC uh, famous bowls and they're pretty damn good. I know why they're famous. Um, my point is just that, you know, if it seems like not a whole lot is going on, uh, there are some opportunities that maybe you might not be seeing. All those pennies I found, all those little pieces of metal I found, they're not like a lot, but those things add up over time. And if we just continually add sand to our beach, eventually we'll have a whole beach. If you don't add sand to your beach, you just have mud. So you want to add sand to your beach. That was something that my football coach taught me uh, 20 years ago. And you just never know what you're going to find. And that's another big part of why I do what I do is uh, just it's amusing and entertaining for me. It gives me something to do. Otherwise, I get really bored out here. So uh, in a little while, hopefully I'll get another chance to go back out and look for some more stuff. But it looks like we got a really bad rainstorm coming. So we'll see how that goes. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read it. Oh, shizzle. Look what you found. Piece of copper. So we got this little wire. I wonder if it's copper. I'm going to go ahead and strip it out and find out. Really can't never complain about finding some free copper, you know. Um, especially when it's a rainy day like this and I'm not really working right now being able to do something with my hands is good because you know what they say idle hands are the tools of the devil not that I have any bad vices or anything just truthfully I get really bored just sitting around waiting and uh, not many things hold my interest very well but uh, for some reason 
finding scrap metal and stuff really does hold my interest pretty well. It's kind of like insurance because it's not going to go down in value. Probably will go up in value. But it's not enough value that I'm going to go out and just spend it, you know. It's not tempting enough to just spend it. Not that I have a problem spending money, just that it's also not tempting for other people to want to take stuff like this because that's why I was sitting in the parking lot because, you know, somebody didn't see the value in this. But for me, it keeps my hands from being idle and gives me something to do. Like I said, I just get really bored if I don't have something good to do. And this is kind of like something positive for me because for one, I'm recycling, you know. This stuff's not going to go into the landfill. And I'm getting paid to do it. You know, that's really my incentive. It's not just the recycling. It's, it's that there's a monetary benefit for recycling this. I hate that, you know, stripping wire leaves these little pieces of wire everywhere. But I always clean up my messes before I'm done, you know. I always put all this in a pile and then I'll bag it up. And then I'll... I never put a little piece of trash in the trash loosely. I always put all the little pieces into a, a container of some sort of bag or that way they don't just fly around like the landfill even. I just worry that one day like a windstorm goes by the landfill and these little piece of trash or a bird sees a little piece of trash and they eat it and it ends up in a bird's stomach or in the air and then in the ocean and a whale's stomach, you know, however. But I try to consolidate the little piece of trash into a bigger accumulations that way less likely to be in the wrong place you know it ends up in the right place usually when it's like that people are more inclined to pick up a, a large piece of trash than the small piece of trash that float around so that is one downside that you know these little pieces are are small trash and could easily be mistaken by like a bird if they were just laying around like the little bird could think like one of these was a worm or something I don't know or a larva who knows a seed I guess flour, whatever their potential food source is that looks that color. But, uh, so that's one positive. I'll go ahead and finish stripping this piece out, and uh, then I'll show you the total for everything I found just searching the ground at a storage place. Like, that, the grounds that were already clean, you know? Like, somebody had already cleaned all this stuff off the ground. Like, there was no garbage. Like, normally you see me pick up a bunch of garbage, finding big metal. This was all little stuff that I found that was overlooked. So, there is opportunities even when you don't necessarily see the opportunities. Alright, this is what I found. You know, a spoon. These are some tweezers. Part, it must have been part of the same set. I don't know, this looks a little older, but toenail cutters, hose clamp washer a nut two soda tabs I don't know what this is uh, I wasn't sure when I looked at it this side I picked it up and it was like this weird like cat thing so if you know what that is post that in the comment below I'd be interested to know uh, save somebody's tire uh, we found two three four five six seven cents uh, I'm not sure what this is I think it might be part of a lighter but it doesn't really look like it, so I'm not sure about this piece. Save somebody else's tire with a little piece of glass. Uh, this stone was definitely part of something. It's been cut flat on the back, like perfectly flat. So, I don't know. Decorative stone. This really cool big piece of metal. I'm not sure if that's copper. I'll check and let you know in a second. But this is copper. Oh, that was just a piece of wire that got overlooked. And then this little Lego Ninja. Uh, that's what one of the other people said. It was a Lego Ninja. I don't know. But uh, pretty cool. Found all that stuff in, honestly, a couple minutes of just walking around the storage unit. Stuff that was overlooked in a place that was already pretty clean. So, like, there's opportunities out there. Uh, literally, we're talking about a couple minutes, and this was just, like, a little already picked through, cleaned up place. Like, this was all just sitting in plain sight. All right, I scratched it to see what the metal color was. And I kind of already... Am, uh, knew it was going to be regular like steel because it was rusting some but uh yeah it's shiny silver so this is going to be like a steel but it's still cool if you like this video let me know so i can make more you know treasure hunting videos and uh if you would subscribe to this channel so that way you don't miss any more videos and uh if you have any suggestions about videos you'd like to see in the future then post those there as well 
I will see you next time on the Crafted Metal channel. Peace.